The most challenging project was selected by the European Cultural Foundation and uh, it was uh, to North Greenland and it was uh, during the winter uh, which is uh, around minus uh, 46 degrees so I travel uh, for two weeks uh, with uh, local Inuits on a dog sledge and we were camping outside in uh, really temperatures minus uh, 40, 46 and it was incredible. Uh, my camera stopped, I have to use uh, my backup camera which was analog camera and it was very very hard but this, this project really um, m made me love the Arctic and uh, yeah, I have been going ever since to the Arctic area. I think photography is well known, it's a very, especially in the Arctic, it's well known, it's a very masculine environment, so uh, when I travel it's very rare to see women and unfortunately this is the reality and I hope that it changes in the future. So there are a couple of uh, issues, one is uh, maybe extreme environment, extreme weather, um, it's tough conditions, um, there are uh, polar bears in the Arctic, so usually when you travel you have to, you know, how to use gun so, because you have to ca carry a gun with you. When you travel in Greenland during winter, e the only way to go around is by dog sledge. Uh, sometimes you're with, um, on a, an, with another Inuit on his dog sledge. Sometimes when you have too much luggage you, you need to have your own dog sledge and you follow the Inuits. So this is uh, the only way to go around. I, I think women are great to take the chance. They are not given the opportunity. Uh, it's just uh, many times uh, I present a project and it's just from the industry. The, the response from the industry is uh, I, this is not a place for women. Well, don't give up because uh, I, I know there is so little opportunity, but you have to really be persistent and uh, just keep going. The last project was uh, in the village of uh, Kanak, which is in North Greenland. It's uh, the most northern town in the world and um, it, it all affects us. All the changes that are happening in the Arctic are going to affect us. and. I'm trying just to convey this message that uh, we have to be all concerned what is happening there. With my images I try to inform people what is happening in these places uh, because uh, I'm lucky enough to travel with scientists to visit remote places, inaccessible places, so I hope that people can see what is happening and make changes in their lifestyle.